and how I got into this mix. Related to consciousness has to do with magic mushrooms. I know none of you out there have ever tried magic mushrooms or ever experimented with those type of things. I know you're not those type of people. But if you had, you might have experienced something like a dreamlike state. New research from the Human Brain Mapping Project shows that when you're under the influence of psilocybin, which is the main component of magic mushrooms, your brain reacts in a similar way as, as if you were in a dream. And this should come as no surprise to those of you who have experienced um, LSD or ayahuasca or DMT or salvia or psilocybin or anything like that. Sometimes you're out there and you're having a good trip and you feel like you're in a dream. In the past years you may have noticed the rise in research and awareness on the how powerful these tools are. In the 50s and the 40s and before the the 60s whenever the revolution the love evolution first happened and psychedelics were everywhere these tools were being used for therapy to treat alcoholics to treat depression and now we're finding out that things like MDMA which is commonly known as ecstasy but don't buy that shit off the street kids buy it off the silk road these things can be can treat PTSD and veterans the majority of our society is probably suffering from PTSD in one form or, or another, especially when you have a government like we do. These substances, these chemicals, these gifts from nature can be tools to help you better know yourself and also to kind of push the limits of, your, of that mind boundary. Definitely they're not for everyone out there. There are some people who have fragile minds and who should probably not be messing with these things. But it's about knowing yourself and sometimes it is important to push those boundaries and to open your doors of perception. So if you have an opportunity to do so and you have the respect and the right mindset to do so and setting because those things are all important. The people you're around, the place, your mode of thinking and your intention, if you have those things and they're coming from a place of respect and seeking knowledge, I would say it's probably a good idea to go down that road. In April 1993, Robert England and Armando Lazo were shot dead in the border town of El Paso, Texas. At that time, Daniel Villegas was a 16-year-old teenager also living in El Paso. Daniel reportedly claimed to have killed the men and was arrested shortly after. While in police custody, Daniel